Hi, this is Phantom Aquarist, and today I'm doing a reef tank update on my nano tank. As you can see, the conch that I got from the last video, and my hermit crabs, and the brittle sea star are all actively moving around. Uh, the conch is just eating away at the algae on the glass right there in the camera. And the hermit crab is just riding on a shell picking off algae. My brittle sea star has been actively moving around the reef. It's been about two weeks and finally I've got to see the starry blenny come out and start eating. So he's not as shy as he was before. I made a trip to Petco where they had 30% off. Uh, all fresh water and salt water and I picked up two corals this one is a polythoa which is different than zoanthid the difference is the actual definite difference is that polythoas use sand from the sand bed and incorporate it in their outer skin so if you look at their outer skin you'll be able to tell if it's a polythoa because there will be little grains of sand or if it's a zoanthid which has none of that and down there is the other part of the frag it busted away from the bottom so there's a whole bunch of little polythoas on that also but that's the bigger chunk that broke off the frag here's a close-up of the broken off part slowly opening over time this is about three hours of waiting for it to open And then there's the bigger piece, fully open and extended. It's got a very beautiful iridescent green brown to it. And as you can see, there's so much more room to put more corals in. I do have one other coral to put in. And that one is a zoanthid also. Well, it is a zoanthid. I also picked up some turbo snails. Uh, the one that they gave me, though, from Petco is not a turbo snail. I do not know what it is, but I can see it has a limpet on it. He's a very unique, interesting one. He was one of the most active ones in the tank, so I took him. I don't know what species of snail he is, though. Here's the zoanthids I got. These are completely separate from the polythoa that I got. Like I said, the polythoa incorporate sand bed into their skin as to where the zoanthids do not. Plus this is a very, very small species of zoanthid. I also had corals come in today, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. Uh, I got damaged on the way here. For some reason it says that the sender sent it this way. I actually contacted him before the video. And he has no clue why it says that. It's not even initialed for where it's supposed to be initialed. So I'm really excited to see these. These are five of the corals I bought. Uh, I have more on the way later on. But that's for a different video. There you go, Stumps. If you haven't seen in any of the other past videos, Stumps is the three-legged cat. He just hops around everywhere. Stop it. Alright, let's see here. What do we have? Alright, here we go.
first one we have is it looks like most of these corals are going to be hard to tell what they are because they're completely shut. I forgot about that. But uh, we will try and figure out which ones are which. actually can't tell which ones are which so far, but uh, the last one that I just put down, that one is my uh, Pseudo Striped Dragon Mushroom Coral. And that one is my Green Goblin Boom Mushroom Coral. Let's see here. That one actually has quite a bit of color to it. That looks like like my yeah. That looks like the Fruit Loops zoanth that I bought. And can't tell which one that one is. <laughs> I'll have to get them out of the bags and let them sit in the tank then I'll know what they all are. I also got in some Reefroids so I can feed my Zoanthids and my Polythoa. And uh, I also got in some Copepods so I could quicken up the process so I can get in a Dragonette because I have a big thing for Dragonettes. As you can see there's one of the new corals that is the Fruit Loop. Zoanthid. That is one of the other ones that I bought that I can't remember the name of right off the top of my head. That is the Pseudo Dragon Mushroom. That is the Nuclear Zoanthid. And that one right there is the Green Goblin Boom Mushroom. I also got in a whole bunch of snails from a seller on eBay. I was all excited. 25 snails for $18. So I can't wait to see what this looks like when we get this open. It's not a very heavy box. And the box is actually pretty small, which I guess makes sense. I assume there would be water though involved. And yeah, I'm right. There's why I didn't hear any sloshing around. And that also is not 25 snails. That is a lot of snails. I don't know why he gave me this many snails. Alright. So, they're all alive. I don't know why he didn't put water in there or a heat packet or anything, but... Here's all of them in the tank. I counted all of them as I added them in. Instead of 25 snails he gave me, he gave me 132 Azaria snails. I finally sorted through them. I put a whole bunch of them away here at the upper part of the tank in a fish breeder I had for one of my freshwater tanks. And guess what happened? While the seller, the seller screwed up and sent me 132 Nazaria snails instead of 25, the snails also had about 200 eggs. So I'm sitting on about 300 Nazaria snails potentially. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, then please comment. I appreciate the feedback. Once again, this has been Phantom Aquarist. Bye!